Hi, and welcome back to Food Allergy Love with Lauren. Today, I'd like to talk to you about training not only yourself, but others who care for your children in using and administering epinephrine. There are many forms of epinephrine. Um, the ones that we have are the EpiPens. We actually have EpiPen Junior because they're for my children. Uh, they also have um, just regular EpiPens that are for adults. And uh, you can also get the Twinject or the new AbbQ. Uh, so anyways, let me talk to you a little bit about the but the EpiPen, okay? So um, most of the time when they're prescribed for you, they will be prescribed in a two pack, okay? They come in a green box um, with a training device, so the box is about that wide, and the two that are connected together, okay? They come off like this. The reason there is two um, is that m many times, um, statistics, statistics have shown that after you administer the first one, if the paramedics do not arrive in time, you may need a second dose. Um, and so it's always better to have two. And I, I always feel like the more the better, right? You will never be sorry for having too much. You will always be sorry for not having enough. So anyways, um, they recommend that every person, every child carries two EpiPens on them at all times. So uh, a couple things. Every year our year EpiPens will expire. They expire one year after from when you, when you receive them. If you look on your EpiPen, there's a little black part, okay? And that actually tells you when your expiration is. So this one expires in December of 2013, which makes sense because that's usually when we get them filled. Um, another thing is, so assuming that the year has gone well, you may have lots of EpiPens left over every year, okay? And you may be thinking, what am I going to do with these? Well, keep them. Here is a bag of what I have left of our expired EpiPens, okay? And the reason they're good to keep um, is they are great for training. Okay, which is what I want to talk to you about today. So as I mentioned a little bit ago, all two packs of EpiPens do come with a training device. It looks very similar to the actual EpiPen. There it is side by side. It looks almost identical. This one has a little bit more clear on the top. Um, so if you are training please, with the training device, make sure you have the training device. Okay, it says training device up top. Um, because if you're training on yourself, there's nothing worse than um, the surprise injection of some epinephrine. All right. Um, Basically, it's very easy to use. You're always going to remove the blue cap, and then you're going to, this says to swing and firmly push the orange tip. This is where the needle is going to come out, so do not put your finger down there. They tell you to hold it with a fist, okay? That way you can really get a good um, hold on it, and you're going to want to press it in until you hear the click, and then hold for 10 seconds, okay? One of the important things that I have um, explained to you with keeping your old EpiPens is, is training. So if you don't have these, please just use your training device that I showed you a minute ago. Um, but if you do have expired EpiPens, then I'm going to demonstrate for you with uh, my good friend Lindsay on how to, how to train others um, to use an EpiPen with your old devices, alright? So, we're going to train on oranges, so I have two uh, expired EpiPens and two oranges. So, I'm going to invite my good friend Lindsay and trusted babysitter up here to show her how to use one. Hi, thanks for coming. Yes, you're welcome. So, um, I have shown you with a training device how to use an EpiPen, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but as I mentioned to you before, like it does feel a little bit different and I wouldn't have known that had I not actually used one myself. Yeah. Um, and I think that is one of the things that's kind of the most fearful about using one is just the unknown, like I've never used one and it sounds so scary mm -hmm. when there's a needle involved mm -hmm. and oh my goodness, am I going to see the needle and all those things. So, this should take a lot of the fear out of it for you. So anyways, um, let me show you how it's done. So basically, we're gonna, you're going to remove the, remember, these do have the medicine and the needle inside, so don't get crazy with them. Um, you're going to remove the blue cap, just like the training device, all right? And then this does say to swing. I know they're kind of sticky. They are. Um, you can swing, okay? So if you're going to hold it with a fist. That way you can get a really good grip on it. You can swing it into a thigh. Remember, this can also go over the pants, okay? And you're going to want to do it in the thigh. Um, I've always been told kind of between the hip and the knee along the seam of your pants on the outside. So kind of right in the middle of all the good stuff, right? Um, so you can swing it, okay? But you can also just press it up against the thigh. You're going to press it down until you feel the click. And then you're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Now, the reason that I'm training her with this, and the reason it's important to do it this way if you have them on hand, is because it feels different, right? Yes. Yes, there's a, there's a spring inside which releases the, um, the needle, which obviously administers the epinephrine. But to do that, um, it kind of has a little bit of a kickback, mm -hmm. nothing that would prevent you from using it, but um, definitely, definitely different. feels different, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So that after 10 seconds have passed, obviously you want to count. Um, when you go to release it, the needle is going to go up inside. You will never see the needle. 
which is helpful because is I don't like sea needles. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. um, you can see um, on the orange where the injection was made. Okay, a little bit of the epinephrine probably running out, or orange juice, depending on what you have. Um, so anyways, like I said, these are great to keep, okay? Uh, we have a lot of them. Take them to your school, take an orange with you, and train your teachers. You'll never be sorry for that. Um, but now, you probably feel a little bit better about using one. Yeah, I definitely do. Absolutely. So yes. thank you again for You're coming. Welcome. And that's all the food allergy love I have for today. So stay safe and always carry your epis.